car driving. They are essentially, to a point, attempts at planning what other people should do, planning their life for them. Now, planning a complex social system is a very hard thing to do. And let me tell you a story. Back in 1989, when the Berlin Wall fell, uh, an, ur an urban planner in London got a phone call from a colleague in Moscow saying basically, uh, uh, hi, this is Vladimir. Uh, I'd like to know who's in charge of London's bread supply. Uh, and the urban planner in London was, uh, what do you mean, who's in charge of London? I mean, no one is in charge. Oh, but surely someone must be in charge. I mean, it's a very complicated system. Someone must control all of this. No. Uh, no, no one is in charge. I mean, it, it basically, I haven't really thought of it. I mean, it basically organizes itself. It organizes itself. That's an example of a complex social system which has the ability of self-organizing. And this is a very deep insight. When you try to solve really complex social problems, the right thing to do is most of the time to create the incentives, you don't plan the details, and people will fig figure out how, what to do, how to adapt to this new framework.